Do you feel that genre limits you in any way? Limits your accessibility to a wider audience? It limits my accessibility to middle-aged and older female readers because it's a primarily male world. One of the things, and it's a confluence of events, preceding my meeting you, and you have two daughters, and have written a spellbinding memoir pertaining to motherhood, mm -hmm. I realized that I have no children and always wanted a daughter. I realized the courage, the fortitude, the perspicacity it takes to raise children, that thought pervaded my consciousness as I wrote a book about history and bad men. Well, that brings me to uh, your next book that comes out next year, The Hilliker yes. Curse, which is a memoir, um, a companion piece to My Dark Places, which documented your search for the the murderer of your mother, um, unsuccessful. Uh, but more poignantly, your memories of her that time and, um, and your search for the other. Yes. The other being her, capital H, E-R. In the Hilliker Curse, you describe yourself in a lovely passage Frail boy bound credible and ghastly deep. Yes. Do you think that this book is bringing you closer to that, to the resolution of that? Leaving me out of it, please. Um, and is that what motivates you to write? Is it the, the estimation of women of finding some sort of communion? And how does writing these male novels fulfill that need in you? It's a great, it's a great question. I cannot fail to however elliptically grant you your concluding power in this moment, despite your rejoinder <laughs> of two and a half minutes ago. Put all that aside, and we should... They are there, I am here. There is Geneva Hilliker, the red-headed nurse from the Wisconsin boondocks. And there is the old joke from the American 1950s. I want to find the guy who invented sex and ask him what he's working on now. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why so many people write books pertaining to this one topic. Mm -hmm. What I realized upon futilely searching for the killer of my mother and enlisting a very brilliant homicide detective to get me there mm -hmm. is that my mother and I were not a crime story and that no criminal resolution to our story would ever provide me with knowledge of who she was and who I was, that my mother and I were a love story, and that I had to explore the phenomenon of women in me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You say uh, repeatedly in The Hilliker Curse, which is coming out in October of 2010, so that women will love me, so that women will love me. Right. And this is the, the search. This is the search that many of the characters in this book are, are on. Yes. Don Crutchfield... Certainly, lost mother, yes. unrequited love in a number of directions. I wonder if he or you, as they are both sort of this beautiful meld of two people in this character, I wonder if finding the mother, the female, the other, will in some way be your undoing or Don Crutchfield's undoing. Don Crutchfield is a creation unobsessed mm -hmm. with the finding of the other. The concluding other that you and I have discussed, however elliptically, a few moments ago, is there 
looms, it's a topic of constant refraction study. The assuming of the feminine perspective, and I think that I will simply write a different kind of book now that I have finished The Hilliker Curse mm -hmm. and it's scheduled for publication, I have an all new type of book, novel, to write. Mm -hmm. A micro history mm -hmm. set way back when. I don't want to give much more away than that. And it's because I have a covenant of consciousness with God, mm -hmm. with the people closest to me, with all of you, my readers, I don't want to be one of these older guys that write skinnier and skinnier and skinnier and more and more solipsistic mm -hmm. books. Uh-uh. I want to write big motherfuckers <laughs> full of density, history, and I want to change. <laughs>